Hi. Today I want to do a comparison between a classical ghillie suit and the ghost hoodie. Yeah, the classical ghillie suit is like a uniform combined with a camouflage netting so you can attach natural vegetation almost everywhere and by itself with the big volume it covers up mainly your head and shoulder area and this allows you to not be recognized as a human being and of course with all the vegetation that you can stick inside you are becoming one with nature. Yeah, a classic gill suit is especially made. I personally made a lot of gill suits and I attached netting on the back and before this I removed the uniform fabric. So it was highly breathable on the front, Cordura, so I can easily slide over the ground, go prone and do stalking and get close to someone without being noticed and being as flat to the ground as possible. So the front is completely free and reinforced. Yeah, I want to keep it short. So here are some camouflage videos. Of course, these camouflage comparisons are not really a rep representation of the real world scenario because this is super close, really close, and the videos have to be made that you have the possibility to, to see me. There have to be some pixels which are actually me or my ghillie suit. So, yeah. And the ghillie suit, mainly camouflage on the back, and it combines uniform with the camouflage. So this is the main thing to keep in mind. Now, the Ghost Hoodie is a super lightweight camouflage poncho. It weighs around 400 gram and you can place it in a, inside a pocket, for example. In my opinion, every sniper should own at least one because this is a super versatile tool. You can even combine it with a gilo suit. You can make a fast hide or you can place your rifle underneath and you can, can camouflage your backpack, you can camouflage almost everything. It's super versatile. But when you want to go through bushes in the lowest possible uh, movement technique, then a classical ghillie suit or at least a uniform which is made for crawling long periods of time, then yeah, you will need something like this. Now let's talk about the ghost hoodie. It's like a new type of camouflage. It's super lightweight super breathable. In a military context, you will wear this on top of your uniform. Since the uniform often is not as breathable as my self-made ghillie suit with mesh on the back, this combination will not be as breathable as the ghillie suit itself. But the big advantage is you can walk with the normal troop, you look like a normal soldier, and as soon as you need camouflage, or like even if you are like max, a marksman and you don't have to do a lot of stalking, you can take this out of a pocket or a day pack and it's super, super easy and fast to get inside. So I just have to throw this over my head, slide in my arms. There are already camouflage gloves for the hands. One finger can re be removed or placed outside of it so you can shoot or you can even shoot like that. And it also has got a hood. with some mesh in front. So with this, also the face is completely camouflaged. And when you go down, all your legs and the shadow of your arms and legs is also camouflaged. As you can see, at least I'm seeing this on the small screen, the camouflage is already quite good. This one is the cam Con Camo Brown. So it's a brown pattern. It works well in brown areas like forests in the autumn or even in deserts which are with rocks that are more brown. Yeah, 400 gram and with the green version, Concamo Green, there's of course also a beige version for more sandy deserts or bright rocks. So with the green one, the same. And good thing about this is you can walk around 
and as soon as they go down, you are completely camouflaged. There's also this opening in front where you can place your rifle scope, cover the rifle, there's the scope, and you can use this for a super versatile tool to be camouflaged when you need it. So, if you compare this to the ghillie jacket, of course there's already some bushes attached, but the weight and the volume is a really big difference. So this will most of the time get the job done, especially if you are a photographer or maybe even police, law enforcement or other agencies which are working with civil clothing, want to be undercover without a big bag with a ghillie suit. And you can hide this really easy, throw it on, super easy, and then you are gone. Now the sun is going down, but I still want to do some camouflage comparison with also the Concamo Green and Concamo Brown. And again, please keep in mind, this is just a comparison video, some demonstration. I not try to be unseen from the camera. And this is a demonstration which cannot be transferred to the real world because it's a lot about placement, where do you hide, and often you can just hide with your camouflage uniform and you don't really need specialized camouflage equipment in most of the time. But with this, you can cover up even bright clothing, so let's dry it out. Yeah, now here I'm sitting in a relatively brown area. All these shadows from my arms and my face are a problem. And also the green vegetation doesn't fit that well. So right here I can use the hoodie in Concamo Brown, for example. I can cover myself up really easy. And now I have these holes where I can observe through and all or most of the shadows will be gone. Of course, this right here is not a good position at all. Short conclusion. When you're going to go super low and want to move through the bushes undetected and be crawling the whole time, protect yourself against the wet ground or the cold ground or the hard ground, then you will need a ghillie suit, which is specially made for crawling or a specialized uniform. Yeah. And if you want to have compact, super lightweight camouflage for just in case you want to have camouflage or if you want to have your full kit and then add camouflage, the ghost hoodie can be a perfect choice for you. That's it, of course, I'm sure after this demonstration you know what suits your, your mission best. Thanks for watching, make sure to check my other videos and I'm looking forward to be watched by you again. Bye.